Garmin has a useful metric on most of its smartwatches and fitness trackers called Body Battery Score. Its aim is to give you an indication of your body's current energy levels. The feature actually doesn't present anything new on the hardware side, but the way the data is utilized is new. Body battery ranges between 0 and 100. The higher the number, the more rested you are. All of this is presented in real time and changes as your body's energy levels increase or decrease. If you've bought a new device, it might take up to a week for it to learn the ins and outs of your body. During this time, you might notice that body battery is stuck at 5%. The same is the case if you do a hardware reset of your watch or fitness tracker. If you take your wearable off for several hours at a time, the algorithm will plug the gaps with estimates of the charging and draining of your body battery. So, the more you wear the device on your wrist, the more accurate the metric will be. The feedback you get from body battery is based primarily on an analysis of heart rate variability, HRV. Basically, this is the same data used to deliver Garmin's popular all-day stress tracking. In a nutshell, the body battery concept is about taking overall physiological stress and the impact of physical activity and placing them together into the context of recovery moments and the restorative power of sleep. Stress and physical activity deprive your body of energy. Restful moments and sleep give you a boost. Garmin Body Battery takes all this into account to let you know when your your energy levels are high. The metric provides you with at a glance information on when to push hard, when to rest. In Garmin Connect, you can also find a charged and drained value alongside the body battery score. This shows how many points you've gained during the day and how many points you've spent. There's a long list of Garmin watches that pack the body battery score. It is safe to say, whichever of the recent crop of sports watches or fitness trackers you buy, it will probably have this. You might be wondering on the best ways to increase your score. This is not that difficult. In fact, it is easier than acquiring fitness gains as it requires the opposite of work. Stress and physical activity are what is needed to make your body stronger. But push too hard for too long, and you may be doing yourself a disservice. Not to mention running the risk of injury if you are training. Not enough people understand that recovery is just as important as training. So while stress is unavoidable and physical activity is needed to keep us in shape, make sure this is followed by adequate periods of rest. Some good ways to increase your body battery score include sleeping, resting, avoiding alcohol, caffeine and other sugary drinks, eating healthy, reducing stress and staying well hydrated. There are also some factors you may not be able to do anything about. For example, high temperatures can increase stress. The same is the case with noisy environments or very bright environments, or high altitudes. So it is something to keep in mind. Also, if you are sick or in pain, this will in most cases automatically reduce your body battery. So do everything you can to recover as quickly as possible.